Hey. Hi. Hello, howdy. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys had a great day. Turned out to be a beautiful day here in Colorado. Chilly, but very pretty out. Um, so hopefully you guys got to enjoy some sunshine today. Uh, yes, I heard it's supposed to snow this weekend. Allegedly. We'll see. Okay, uh, we're going to do another bar-inspired glutes and core. So the only equipment you need today is a chair or a sturdy surface. That can be kitchen counter, sofa back, uh, any chair that's, uh, you know, pretty stable. We're not going to be putting weight on the chair necessarily, but uh, it does need to be sturdy enough that you can get a good grip on it and that it can support a little bit of your weight. Um, banister of a staircase. I mean, don't, don't try to do this like on the stairs, <laughs> but you, you get the gist, you know what I mean? You don't have to have an actual ballet bar. Um, you know, we do here in the studio, but I'm gonna use the chair uh, just like you guys. So uh, if you have a glute band, um, you have the option of using it at the end of the warm up. Other than that, uh, it's not necessary. We don't need any weights today. Um, it's gonna be all toning, cardio. Um, there's a couple cardio blocks built in where we, uh, guys, we're gonna pretend to be our most graceful selves, little ballerinas. Um, so channel your inner ballerina today. We've got the bun with the scrunchie, by the way. These, all these scrunchies that I wear are from the dollar store. Dollar store has great hair accessories. If you don't already know that, which I'm sure you guys do. Um, and it like varies from dollar store to dollar store. Not all of them have the good ones, but mine, maybe because it doesn't get a lot of foot traffic, but man, mine had like so many colors of these velvet ones that are big and really nice quality. Anyways, okay, so yes, um, everything we do is gonna be, you know, ballet inspired. Uh, yes, let's get going. Oh, and we are, so class is going to be a little bit, like it's going to go the full hour today because uh, we are going to stretch at the end and our stretch I'm making a little bit longer these days. Uh, so yes, class is going to be a full hour today. Hope that's okay. All right. March it out. Deep breath in. Let that go. One more time. Let's start with ham curls. Three, two, one. Good. You guys keep this up. I'm just going to make a little adjustment here. Sorry. <laughs> it's like that part of spy. <laughs> All right, we're ham curling. Four, three, two, tap and swing to the front. Take the arm up overhead, reach. Four, three, two, plus the feet and slow down your reach. Good, hold it. Four, three, two, drop it down in the center. Actually, right, so let's drop it on top of that leg to start. Now drop it center. Come on up into your hip thrust and hinge. Last one. Good. Back to our reach. Slow and big. Good. Hold it. Other side. Four, three, two, drop it over that leg. Drop it center. Widen the feet. 
Good, come into your double rock, side to side. Good, hold it. Good, drop that into your runner's lunge. Straighten out that front leg, hamstring. Good, come back up wide, back into our double rock. Good, hold it, other side. And drop that into your runner's lunge. Good, come on up, heel toe it in, take a kickstand swing and hinge. Hold it down. Good, come on up into big backwards uh, shoulder rolls. Interlace. Under the feet, switch it to the other side to that kickstand swing and hinge. Good, hold it down. Come on up into our big forward rolls. We'll finish off our warm up with abs to start, and then we'll do a little glute uh, warm up. Interlace those fingers. Good, go post arms and twist. Four, three, two, come on down. We're gonna start with our usual roll ups. Good, start all the way down. Ballet arms. Good, your modification is to bend the knees when you do this. And if you can't make it all the way up, you just crunch at those arms, okay? Your choice. If you're taking the level three, sit up nice and tall at the top. Good. Last two. Good. One more. Take it all the way down. Going into leg lowers. Okay, so you're level one, plant the feet, take it side to side. Level two, you hover, but we single side to side. And then level three, double it up. And it's up to you. You can lift the upper body as well, or you can keep it down. Scoop the belly, get that lower back down. Good, just two more. Last one, four, three, two, roll up, flip it over for a plank. Knees, toes, hands, forearms, we know the deal. Get right in, lower those hips, scoop the belly, pull belly button to spine. And let's take some alternating glute raises, lift, Lower, lift, lower. Good, from the knees, do the same thing. You just shoot that leg back and lift. Other side, okay? Good, pull your abs back in. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, child's pose. 
All right, quick little recovery. Now, if you don't have the glute band, just go ahead and take it down to your stomach. If you want to slip your glute band on, go for it. We've just got three moves, a parachute pulse, a glute bridge, and then a glute hold with abductions. The band is just added bonus. You do not have to have it. Head down, start by lifting the quads off the ground, squeezing the glutes. And you could actually just hold it right here if you want. Or you can start your pulse. Good, I like to take this quick pulse, but you could open, close, open, close. That's totally up to you. Maybe do a little bit of both. Squeeze those glutes. Think about that quarter between your butt cheeks. Squeeze it this entire class. Good, firing up the glutes. We'll flip it over in four, three, two, hold it up. Release and flip. Keep the band if you have it. Just going into glute bridges. Dig those heels in. With or without the band. We're all doing the same thing right now. Start, lift your hips, tuck those shoulder blades. Get a good squeeze. Make sure your positioning is good. And then start your singles down and up. So band is just along for the ride right now. Squeeze. Tap and go at the bottom. You can hang out at, on the top as long as you want. At the bottom, tap and go. Get those hips up. All right, get ready to hold it up. Four, three, two, go ahead and hold. Now you can just stay right here in the hold if you want to, or either with or without the band, you can lift just very small outward pulses, push, push, push. Keep those hips up. Even here, pull belly button to spine. Squeeze that quarter. <laughs> Let it burn. Fire those glutes up. Three, two, knees to chest. Holy smokes. All right, when you're ready, remove that band, come to standing. We're in a minute recovery here, grab water, pull that chair up close. All right, so we're gonna go through one side at a time. Does not matter which side you start on. I think I'm gonna shed a layer here. All right, we're going in twenty. Starting with just a plie squat. There's this chair is just here for support. So legs are wide, toes pointed out. Roll those shoulders down and back. Put yourself in between two panes of glass. Three, two, one. Down and up. 
Good. Now add some arms. Squeeze that quarter. Imagine those inner thighs zipping up. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. All right, we're gonna hold it down for a plie pulse. Three, two, one, hold it down. Pulse. Okay, chest is nice and lifted. Arm is up to you. You can have it in front, side. Get low, stay low. Pull your abs back in. Good, squeeze that corner. Here's 10, let it burn. Three, two, one, shake it out. Nicely done. Okay, we're gonna stand up nice and tall. Move number two, we're just gonna sweep that leg out to the side with a nice, pretty pointed toe. Roll those shoulders down and back, abs and tight. Here we go. Good, so that leg is just kicking right out to the side. Knee is up towards the ceiling. It's hard to tell. My toes are pointed though, abs and tight. Do some sort of nice, graceful arm. I mean, you could have it right in front. Oh, dear baby Jesus, do not let the internet have all these issues today. All right, three, two, one. Now take a knee, drops, kind of angle yourself and take a side knee and then into a lift. Side knee, lift. Side knee, lift. Okay, pick it up. So that side knee is a crunch. Abs in tight. Good, two, one, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna stay on that side. So that leg that was doing all the work is still working. Turn and face the chair. We're gonna take a lunge knee drive. Stand up tall, abs and tight, send that leg back. Lunge in. Now, level two, let's add a calf raise. Okay, so gently hang on to your chair. It's just there to support you. Good, nice deep lunge. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Good, we're gonna go straight into a knee drive glute lift. Three, two, one. Keep the knee drive, add that back glute lift. Drive and lift. Drive and lift. Double time, in, out. Big extension. Abs and tight, pump that toe. Good. So your knee is facing the ground here. Here's two, 
Hold it out. Lift, lower. Square your body to that chair. Don't let your hip flip. Good, nice and big. All right, double time. Lift, lift. What happened to your abs? Pull it in. You can lean forward if you'd like to. Or stand up tall. Here's 10. Four, three, two, one. If your standing leg is on fire, you're not alone. Shake it out. All right. We're gonna go into a front attitude with a curtsy lunge. Four, three, two, one. Bend this front leg, lift, take it back. Lift, send it back. Let's add some arms, lift and back. Lift and back. So if you don't like that curtsy lunge, just make it a reverse. We're graceful. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. We're gonna hold that curtsy in a pulse. Right here, pulse, pulse, pulse. Good. So your arm can be down if you don't want that extra shoulder work or take it out or take it up. Let it burn. Good, we get a long break after this. Here's 10. Four, three, two, shake it out. Ooh. Jello legs, minute recovery. Just move your chair. We're gonna hit some cardio. We've got uh, three moves, except for one is a single-sided move. So really we've got four. Okay, let's go through the modifications. So we're gonna start in fifth position. So here's first, second, is this third? I feel like this is fifth. I'm calling it a fifth position. I know fourth is out here. Uh, okay, you're level one. You're just going to front, back, back, front, front, back, back, front, coming into that fifth position, alternating your front leg. Level two, we're just gonna switch back and forth with hops, four, Three, two, here we go. Start with the feet only. Let's add some arms. It's hard with the arms. I'm just gonna flap. <laughs> Whatever arms you decided to do, you could just keep them up. You're graceful. Here's 10. Okay, we're gonna take it out into second. Three, two, one. Here's your level one. Out, second, first. Second, you can pick it up. And then level three, we double time. Delicate arms. Here's 10. Abs in tight. Three, two, 
One, shake it out. All right, lunge to one side. Come up into a back arabesque. Okay, level one. Start with the feet. Lunge your back and then come up arabesque with that back knee bent. Okay, so lunge. Come into that arabesque. Abs are tight for balance. Level two, add that hop. Land soft. Tap into your abs, pull it back in. Four, three, two, quick shake out. Take it to the other side. Start with your level one. Lunge it back. Come up into that arabesque. Whoa, crazy driver. <laughs> okay. And then level two. Add that hop on the arabesque. Land soft. Low lunge. Graceful, delicate movements. Four, three, two. Wow, that was challenging. Whew, nicely done. Minute recovery. Whew. We're taking all of that to the second side. Oh man, Whew. that got me winded. chair again or whatever you're using nice sturdy surface going to 25 okay keep it moving we're starting back with that plie squat oh deep breath in i need it this minute all right Open it up wide, wider than usual. Put yourself in between your two panes of glass. Abs in super tight. Just gently rest that hand on the chair. Here we go. Down, two, lift, squeeze. Okay, let's try to do the same arm that we did on the other side. All right, double time. Now it's going to bother me that I can't remember all the ballet positions. What is third? Three, two, hold it down and pulse, pulse, pulse. Nice and low. All right, your arm can be down. It can be out, it can be up. Those inner thighs are working. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Are you squeezing your quarter? Pick it up. Woo. Breathe, almost there. We're under 10. Four, three, two, shake it out. Woo. All right, we're gonna take that leg sweep. Stand up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back. Abs nice and tight. Just start with the leg in four, three, two, sweep it out. So knee is facing the ceiling. That toe, let's add the arms. I honestly can't remember what arms we did on the other side. Good, pull your abs back in. You can 
can also just have your arm up. We're gonna go straight into that side knee, side extension in four, three, two, one. So knee in, big extend. Knee in, extend, slow to start. In, extend, double time. As tight. It's a side crunch. Big reach. Almost there. Here's four. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Woo. All right, just turn to face your chair. We're gonna go into that lunge knee drive with the optional calf raise. Okay, so that leg that was just doing all the work is gonna send it back. Three, two, one. Slow to start. Knee. Your option is to add that calf. Double time. Chest is lifted, abs tight. Don't put too much weight on that chair. It's just a walk for the ride. We're gonna go straight into that knee drive glute raise. In four, three, two, one. Glute raise. Knee in, slow to start. Abs tight. Double time. So now the knee is facing the ground. Squeeze that quarter. Pull your abs back in. We're gonna hold it out for a pulse. Four, three, two, hold it out. First lift and lower. Slow, it's big. Good, last one slow. All right, double time. Up tight, stay square to the ground. Here's 10. Pull your abs back in. Four, three, two, shake it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, we're gonna take that front attitude lift into our curtsy lunge in 10. I feel like my back is getting pumped. Am I alone? You guys feel that? All right, bend that front knee, abs tight, chest lifted, lift in front, and then send it back into our curtsy, slow to start. Two more slow. Last one. Pick it up double time, lift, lunge. I'm just trying different arms, but it gets confusing. Last one, we'll hold it out. Pulse. Your arm can be down, it can be up, it can be out, it can be all the way up. Let it burn. Almost there. Here's 10. Get low. 
four, three, two, release and shake. Woo, minute recovery, chair to the side. We're going back into those same cardio moves. Holy sweat of the eyeball. Okay, make sure you've hydrated. Going in 30. Okay, keep it moving. Nice deep breath. Okay, remember, your low impact is back, front, front, back. Okay, or you can add the hops. Just switch, 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 switch. Good, start with the feet. Four, three, two, go. Add some arms. Abs in tight. If the arms are too confusing, just leave them in one spot. We're gonna go straight into second position. In four, three, two, one. Out, first, second, first. Okay, this is your level one. Plie, in. Add some hops for level two. You can slow. Or double time. Graceful and delicate. Land soft. Under 10. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Woo! All right, going into that one side arabesque. Now, if the lunge is throwing you off, because it was kind of throwing me off a little bit, just keep it right here. Lift. Lower. Okay, abs and tight for balance. And you can even just add a hop here. Or you can add that lunge. What happened to your abs? Pull them back in. Chest lifted, land soft. Last one, shake it out. Other side, okay? So let's go over the options again, level one. Bend that knee, lift, lower. Now you can just add a hop right here. or add that lunge. Actually, you don't even have to add the lunge. I guess we have four levels today. Either way, abs in tight. Graceful, soft movements. Here's two and one. Oh, man, oh, man. Woo. All right, guys. Let's step tap here. Lower the heart rate so we can take it down for abs. Good. Let's grapevine. Add the breath. Woo! Deep breaths in. Last one. All right, grab some water. 
you need to keep moving, keep moving, because we're going to come down to the ground. We are going to start in a down dog. So let's go over level one. We're going in four, three, level one, tabletop to start, bird dog, alternating sides. Actually, bird dog, one side at a time. Okay, level two, hit a down dog, lift, side knee. Knee to elbow. Last one. Okay, come back down to tabletop. We're in on the other side. Take your level. Level one, bird dog. Okay, same side. Don't alternate. Also, a great option here. Not easy. Level two, pick it up in that down dog. Lift, side knee. Belly button the spine here. When you come down in that side knee, hips are low. Last one. All right, come on down. Double up your mat or put a towel underneath your knee. All right, support yourself here. Okay. Level one, I don't want you on your knee. I want you down in a baby seal, but one leg at a time, okay? Level two, we are on our knee and we crunch, extend. You can tap it down. Big side crunch. Four, three. Two, one, other side. Move your little padding. Level one, you're not on your knee. You're down in a baby seal, in a one-legged baby seal. You could always two-leg baby seal. And I guess level three would be full side bridge, crunch, extend. Abs and super tight. Big side crunch. Three, two, one. Transition. Come on down to your back. Okay, start in dead bug or reverse tabletop. Okay, so you can keep it right here if this is enough. Level two, we extend, pull in with no upper body. Level three, lift the shoulder blades, extend, in. We keep them up. Okay, try to sweep that leg low. If your lower back allows. Okay, you can of course keep it up high if you need to. Oop, the belly. Good. Four, three, two, knees to chest. All right, we're gonna double pulse a bicycle side to side. Level one, heels are planted and you're reaching. Reach, 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 reach. Level two, here we go. Elbow to knee, double pulse.
elbow to knee rather than knee to elbow. This is it, guys. This will bring us to the end before we stretch. Halfway. Juice those abs, bring that towel out. So close. One more each side. Recover. Woo. Nicely done. You can stay down if you'd like to, or you can grab some water, towel off. Let's take just a minute here. to settle down so we can hit our nice cool down stretch. Okay, let's uh, switch the music up a little bit. Okay, come to seated. Oh, I'm gonna pop my shoes off. Ooh, I apologize that these socks look dirty. I swear they're not. <laughs> All right, sit up nice and tall. One leg in, one leg out. Inhale, exhale, come out with a flat back to start. One deep breath, inhale, exhale, fold it over. We're not doing exactly the same stretches as yesterday. Every exhale, pull your upper body a little bit further down onto that thigh. Last deep breath, inhale, exhale. With an inhale, walk yourself back up to center and just switch that to the other side. Inhale, sit up tall to start, exhale, flat back out. One deep breath, inhale, exhale, fold it over, reaching for that foot. I'm not sure if I'm getting any more flexible, but I am enjoying stretching every day. Things don't seem to be getting that much easier though. So I don't know what I need to do. Inhale, walk yourself back up. Take the other foot out to match. Inhale, exhale, come out with a flat back to start. One deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fold it over, reaching for both feet. Maybe I'm not pushing myself enough. I don't know. Hopefully you guys are making progress though. When we're halfway through the month, we will gauge our splits and see how those are coming along. So maybe that'll be the test of if things have gotten any better or not. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. With an inhale, walk yourself back up. Open the legs out wide. Sit up tall, inhale, exhale, come out to one side. So right now we're not facing the leg, we're facing uh, out. Looking under the armpit. Inhale, exhale, turn and face that leg and come down and reaching for that foot. Now we've folded on top of that leg. Foot is just that neutral. One more deep breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale, walk yourself back up. Deep breath in, exhale. Come into that side bend to start, looking under that armpit. One 
forget to actively reach that arm, get a great lat side stretch. Inhale, exhale, face that leg and come straight down over it, reaching for that foot. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. With an inhale, walk yourself back up. Sit up nice and tall, roll those shoulders down and back. Inhale, exhale, walk it out with a flat back to start. You might only come this far, that's okay. One deep breath, inhale, exhale, go ahead and fold. Try to keep your feet at neutral. Try not to let them roll too far in. Every exhale, try to lay that upper body further down onto the ground. Feels great. Last deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, walk yourself back up. Shake the legs out, come down onto your back for a uh, happy baby. So grab your feet, get that tailbone down on the ground. So head is down, tailbone, if it's not down, Work on getting it down. stretch for me. I don't know about you guys. Last deep breath. Inhale, exhale, let that go. Just roll it up through all the way over onto your stomachs. Let's lengthen the hip flexors. Now we just shorten them. Uh, level one, just push up into a gentle cobra right here. Relax everything. Don't squeeze your glutes. Level two, go ahead and push all the way up into an upward dog. And it feels good to rock it side to side. Uh, I like doing that. I also feel this a lot down through my quads. Uh, and then try not to shrug your shoulders here. I understand that you're supporting your upper body, but uh, just relax them. Let your abs kind of hang and stretch. And inhale up through tabletop, hit a quick child's pose, kind of counteract that. And then come back through tabletop, come all the way down. Let's take our scorpion, my favorite, lift one leg and take it across the body. Your arms are at 90-90. Yes, back pop. Your toe may or may not touch. Steady your breath. For me, this is a super intense uh, chest stretch. Not painful, but very uncomfortable. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale, inhale. Bring yourself back to center, shake it out. Keep those goal post arms, lift the other leg. And take your scorpion the other way. What the heck is going on here? Heart. There we go. Big exhale as your toe tries to touch.
Steady that breath. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale yourself back to center. Let's hit that child's pose again. Good, just take a couple breaths here. Then flip those toes and come into our one and only downward dog. Set the hips high, pedal it out side to side if you need to. Make sure you don't forget about your upper body. Get that nice big shoulder lat stretch here. When you're ready, plant both heels down as best you can. My heels do not touch the ground, but they're not too far off. So I have hope. Pull belly button to spine here. With an inhale, walk hands to feet and go ahead and just hang out. Annoying. So if your knees need to be bent here, that's perfectly fine. We just work on straightening them. You can hit a hold elbow, hold elbows if you'd like to. Just let everything hang. Feels great. Steady that breath. All right, stay right where you're at. If you need to come up for air for a second, that's fine. We're gonna plant one hand down or you can have it on your shin and we're gonna twist the upper body. It, it feels good to take your hand and rest it on your back, uh, go for it. And if you need to like bend the knee, that's okay. I think that's okay. <laughs> no, that's okay. If it feels right, then do it. Good, and just switch that to the other side. Again, you can let that hand rest on your lower back. You need to bend your knees. Let that arm drop, inhale, come all the way up to standing. Roll those shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, let that go, come down to seated. I know we just like went up and down, up and down. Uh, and let's take either our fire logs or our glute stretch. Uh, I'm just gonna go into the glute, standard glute stretch today. Try to get both hip bones down on the ground. Six bones. Good, go ahead and unwind your legs and just take that over to the other side. Whatever you did, if you did fire logs, take your fire logs, sit up nice and tall here. Feels great. And the last thing we'll do is take our wrist mobility stretches. I know it doesn't have anything to do with getting the splits, but we need it for how much we use the computer and text. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale, unwind yourself, come to a comfortable kneeling position. Let's just start by widening the fingers and pressing them down into the mat. Rolling from knuckle to knuckle, 
Widen those fingers out. Oh man, this feels good. All right, then plant your palms down, fingers facing towards you, and rock away from your hands. Feels so good. Lastly, flip palms down, I'm sorry, palms up, fingers still facing towards you. Be careful guys here, be gentle. Don't put too much weight. Don't just like slam the weight of your upper body down. Pedal it out side to side. Uh, trying to straighten those arms. And go ahead and plant both down. Oh, this feels so good. So uncomfortable though. One more deep breath, inhale, exhale. Ooh, let that go. Deep breath in, let that go. Oh, we got a cactus. Deep breath in, cactus. Let that go. We are done. Do a dance. Snaps, pose. We are done. Round of applause. Oh. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hope you enjoyed that bar inspired class. I love the bar classes. It makes me want to get certif actually certified in bar, uh, but that's an expensive certification. Probably worth it though. I'll investigate. Okay, have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 710 for Tabata cardio. And we are going to do core. Uh, I will have to, you might have to stretch on your own tomorrow to be determined. Okay, have a great evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.